hello welcome back to my channel if you knew you welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you a very easy pizza dough recipe this is a no need dough recipe without wasting time let's just get started so i've got my fresh yeast over here i'm using about seven grams i'll come in with about half a teaspoon of sugar I'll pour in some warm water just enough to cover it up I'll go ahead cover it with a plastic wrap and some kitchen towel and I'll leave it alone until it rises this will take about 10 to 15 minutes I've got my all-purpose flour over here this is 300 grams I'll come in with a pinch of salt I'll give it a good stir to distribute it evenly I will come in with my activated yeast about two tablespoons full of pure olive oil half a cup of lukewarm water with the help of my wooden ladle I'll go ahead and mix it up So as you can see, it's super soft, it's on the very soft side. With the help of my ladle, I'll mix it for about four minutes. So as you can see, this looks super sticky, it looks like glue. Now, after mixing for about four to five minutes, I'll cover it up with a plastic wrap and some kitchen towel. I'll set this aside and leave it alone for about an hour. So it's been after about one hour and as you can see it has risen, it has tripled in size and it's filled with air bubbles. Now I'll get my surface ready, I'll dab it with some rice flour. So I'll go ahead and pour my dough onto the surface. I'll put some of the rice flour on standby and I'll dip my fingers into it occasionally to help me knead. This is basically not kneading, you're just knocking it in. I'll go ahead and do this for about 5 minutes. The rice flour has thicker grains as compared to the all peppers flour so it comes in very handy if you have to knock it in. it into a bowl the knocking in for about five minutes this is what we have here I'll just go ahead and put it in the same bowl so I'll put it in the same bowl cover it up with a plastic wrap and a kitchen towel this time I will leave it alone for about an hour after about an hour this is what we have here it is ready I'll go ahead and dab my pizza pan with some rice flour and with the help of my hands I'll just stretch it out to fit the pan Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is how I make my pizza dough. This is easier, it is faster, and it contains so many air bubbles. If you want to see how I make the pizza, or if you want to see how the bread comes out after it has been baked, watch out for the next video. Hope I did help you, and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends, and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.